It is time. Dread Awakening, the new set from Gods Unchained, is playable in sealed mode. The rewards aren't updated yet, so we're not going to get new cards as rewards, but the cards are in sealed mode. We can play with them, and as you can see, we got a bunch of Dread Awakening cards in this pool. So let's build a deck, and let's do the first sealed run of Dread Awakening. I'm pumped. I got War, I got Light, I got Mage. Let's go ahead and assume we're going to use the uh, Light deck, the Light God, because the GP is busted. And let's quickly build this deck. So I'm going to put in pretty much every card from the new set, if it's even slightly viable. So Path of War. Release Evil is not really going to work. Ferric Seraphim, or something if that's pronounced right. That's pretty cool. Uh, a couple other... One drops. Enraging Talisman is kind of interesting. But yeah, Fury Carving is a new card. Inspiring Scald is actually playable, I think. Path of Light. Delve a Light Legendary and add it to your hand. I'm excited for that one. Let's run a Pacifism, a Safeguard. Uh, maybe Third Eye. Definitely a War Maiden. I'm going to try to build this pretty quickly. Oh, To the Rescue seems really good. Give a friendly creature armor one draw card. That seems really good. Okay, we're going to need some creatures. False Acolyte is cool. Lustric Oracle should be very strong and sealed. Add a 2-2 two, two Acolyte to your hand. Dread Touch, add three of these instead. Or three Acolytes instead. Sulky Spirit seems busted. Ulfgar is okay, but eh, Tartesian's pretty good. Not a ton of creatures in this pool. Not the most creature-heavy pool. Uh, Crystal Curator, this one seems interesting. 3-3, three, three, deal 3 damage. Smith's Hammer could actually be good and sealed. I'm going to give it a try. After you attack with this relic, give plus 1 armor to each friendly creature. Part of the fun, by the way, the entire sealed pool right now is Core, Dread, Divine Order and Welcome. So there's a lot of Divine Order cards that I'm not familiar with. Animated Armory could be good in my deck. I have a lot of Mystics. I have a lot of Mystics, actually. How many Mystics is this? It's a lot. I don't know, though. I don't think we're going to run the Armory. It's a little bit difficult. All right, Were Rat potentially can be really good. Swamp Witch, we don't have the Synergy for. I'll play it as a 4-4 four, four for 4 just because it's a new card and I want it. Unfortunately, Illarak, as cool as it is, we don't have enough Chosen One synergy. This card would be absolutely terrible if I tried to play it in this deck. So I'm going to leave out Illarak. But that's going to be a very cool card and ranked. Knowing Descendants, draw 3 for 5. That's eh, probably not worth it to run that. Really good 5 drops, though. Battle Cleric is a nice one. Orcish Elite is fantastic. These Echo Casters, one of those is probably good. Hired Muscle, meh, not really. Inferno, amazing. And we could run the 8 drop. I'm, I'm kind of hoping we can win these games fast enough we don't need the 8 drop. Keyspringer, meh, not really worth it, actually. Let's just run the Twin Horn Rider for a little Blitz 7 drops. Oh, no, 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 no. We have two Infernos. I'm just going to run both the Infernos then. That's our high end. Yes, yeah, so this is going to need to be a fairly aggressive deck. I'm a little nervous that we're not going to have a good early game, so it's going to be hard to be aggressive enough. Oh, first run of Dread Awakening. It's actually my second run. I did one. I was going to record, and then everything everything went wrong, and I now we're trying again, but still. Basically, the first run of the new set in Sealed. I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty pumped. I think this set is going to be a lot of fun in Sealed. I feel like some of these cards are really cool for Sealed. There's a lot of cool delving cards and stuff. Oh my god, up against a coconut. Who even is it? Who am I against? I don't even know. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in To the Rescue. That seems like it's going to be good. This is a fine opening hand, maybe. Turn 1 Spirit, turn 2 Rescue, turn 3 Selkie. I mean, it's not the best turn one play, but it is something. Sulky's cool. I don't know if I should look for more. I could send back to the rescue. If if this gets killed on turn one, it's going to be kind of bad. I think I'll keep that, though. 
I'm at that phase where I can make bad decisions under the guise of, I don't know if it's good yet. Oh, it seems like a bad decision. Um, well, I'm not sure if it's good. How am I going to find out if I don't test it? So they play a beetle. Let's turn on the music. Staff of Roots, so they do kill my guy immediately. It is the worst case outcome. Sadness, but we can uh, we can play False Acolyte or Sulky Spirit. I mean, Sulky Spirit, they have to trade in everything. I know, the board looks so good. Hurting your eyes, it's so bright, but it looks so good. Acolyte doesn't... Oh, after a friendly creature is destroyed, give the chosen... Oh, so that it's after any friendly creature. You can trigger that multiple times. Oh, I didn't realize that. All right, let's try tossing out the Selkie Spirit. Just some basic stat line, 3-4 stuff. Not getting any synergy from the effect here, but that's okay. With Delve cards, this effect is amazing. Reducing the mana cost of spells that enter your hand from somewhere other than the deck. A really nice effect. The board gets answered. Got an armadillo from crafting a normal pack. Nice. Armadillo and champions. Nice. Yeah, crafting and champions is really cool. It's a really cool system. Return a friendly creature to your hand. And if you do, return a sleeping enemy creature to your opponent. Okay, so 3-4. I could play the false acolyte. If I wait a turn, I can play this and then I can give it armor. So it's frontline plus armor. So I think that's the plan. Let's see what I draw from Safeguard. Red Fume is okay. I could bop this down to three. I don't know if there's a reason to do that, though. Tempo, I guess. Tempo. If I just say Tempo, I can play a card. If I say Tempo. Oh, I should probably move my camera. I'm, like, blocking stuff. So they're going to pickpocket me. My hand is pretty good. Oh, they're going to copy the goddamn Inferno, potentially. That's that's rough. I don't want to wait around, though. I think we're just going to do the play. So give this armor, draw a card. I think to the rescue could be really good. I think that could end up being really good. They get one of these three. That's tough. That's a big pickpocket for them. Okay. Kind of a slow start for us, to put it mildly. Do I try to just yeet out the Battle Cleric? I mean, they can't completely kill it from the board. They need some support from hand. I think I try, because waiting around for this doesn't look like it's going to be that helpful. Like Waiting does not look very good. Maybe it survives a turn. Maybe against all the odds. Against all the odds, maybe. They get rid of war of Ward. Oh, and it gives them the Blitz Ants, yeah. Wait, they just fucked up. Oh no, they have they have no, they fucked up though, didn't they? I guess not. Moonbeam? Okay. The cleric dies. They had all kinds of removal. For a second, I thought they made a mistake, but I was being very optimistic. I can't dread touch this because I have nothing to sacrifice. Hmm. I mean, we have to keep defending. I can't afford to slow down here. I guess I'm just going to debuff the attack on their bear. I'll play the Oracle undread touched. Get one Acolyte. Tough first game. This deck is not really... It's not like getting into gear. I could have pipped out that Acolyte. I guess that might have been a good play. But I'm also waiting for Inferno. Did I know I can get a Gen 4 pack opening loot box and champions? No, I I wasn't sure. I haven't opened any of my loot boxes yet. Like, at all. Did they just Dread Touch? What'd they do? What'd they play? Dread touched, reduce their mana cost by two. Five random cards. Oh, Cradle of Secrets is busted. Oh, GG. That's GG. Cradle of Secrets is fucking busted and sealed. I talked about that in my video when I was looking at cards. That, that one's busted. 
They just got five cards from the light domain, and they're all two mana less cost. That's there's no way. There's no way we come back from that, right? Yeah, I have to open my loot boxes. I gotta make them into mythic loot boxes. Make them into mythic loot boxes, and then uh, see what I get. Damn, man, they're 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 just they got me. They got like so much value. Nature might be really good in sealed, uh, this set. Nature might be really good. Okay, cool. We got Path of Light, but I think we're just going to use Inferno here. Clear the board. You got 16 Mythic Shards out of it, but you used them all. Yeah, Mythic Shards go fast. Mythic Shards, they, they're hard to get and they're easy to spend. Hey, I bought myself some time. Big Inferno. Dude, that one card, that's so insane. It really is unbelievable. Cradle of Secrets is actually crazy. Because, yeah, they really, they really get value. Like, five cards and they're debuffed. That's just nuts. Professor of Murder. Yeah, there's so many cards I don't know about. Divine Order is crazy. Isadora. Um, just like a worse battle cleric. I don't know if Odessa might help me here. I don't. I don't have any ideas. I think we're dead. Like, looks like we're pretty dead. Got absolutely dismantled. By the coconut board. Unless, I don't know. I'm just too far behind on cards. It was just a bad opening, you know? Like, we were behind from turn one pretty much. Mm. Nightwatch Warden. Yeah, so this is all the stuff they got from the cradle. The value is insane. Yeah. If we get that thing to delve magic spells... Or that was the previous deck, wasn't it? I don't know. I think we're just dead ski. This is nice. Delving a war creature with blitz. I feel like that card is generally really nice. Okay, I'm dead next turn, I think. Or maybe not. Wait, I can kill their 6-6. Six, six. Oh, maybe not. I feel like I'm just delaying the inevitable. That's the problem. I don't think... We're not getting any closer to a win, you know? I don't know. Give it one more turn, but... If we're just delaying the inevitable, yeah, plus they have thievery. Um, yeah. All right, GG. Not the start we were looking for. Not what we were looking for with the 0 1. We'll get a win now. We'll get it cooking, though. It's fine. That was, that was just one of those sealed games where nothing is, you know, there's not even the chance. One of those. Okay, another deception. Same person, possibly? Is it the same gods? Am I crazy? Or same, yeah, same three gods. Shouldn't be able to get the same person twice, though. Cleric is so good, but I can't keep it. I need early game. I've got a sinking feeling in my heart that this, this run could be a disaster. We need a win right here. We need a win this round because I have a sinking feeling. I have a sinking feeling. Okay, game's being laggy, but I guess we just play the Scald for the curve. Oh, I got a bad feeling. I need to win this one. This This one must be a win. Uncover Eldric Mysteries. Is Mysteries going to be good and sealed? I don't know. I don't have any Eldric Mysteries stuff in this deck. Burning all your cards? Yeah, shards will make you do that. The desire to burn is strong. 
they're in full galaxy brain mode here. They're like really thinking through this eye of the dark. They're really thinking it through. Okay. Not too bad. We can use Pacifist on that. At the end of each turn, take one damage. Right, 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 right. I could use Pacifist. I could use War Maiden. This basically trades in with that. They only have three cards right now. I guess Warden makes more sense. Or War Maiden, rather. Excuse me. That's right. It's at the end of each turn. That's right, end of each turn, not just at the end of their turn. Yeah, that thing dies fast. That thing dies super fast. Alright. So that's just Ward, that's not a big deal. The, the Blazing Talisman is a pretty big problem. I don't have an answer for it. I don't know if I start going Acolytes or if I go big, big stats. I mean, Acolytes are always good for value. Do I have to play the value game or the tempo game? I feel like I need to play the value game, even though I don't really like it. That Blazing Talisman is a serious problem. That's Divine Order. Man, it's going to take some time to get used to these Divine Order cards. Divine Order uh, is really... I, I, I guess these cards haven't been in sealed before. I don't have any, like, experience dealing with them in Sealed. Okay, apart from the burn, we're doing okay. We're doing pretty good, apart from the burn. Let's play False Acolyte. We'll get some Chosen One buffs. This seems really strong. The more I look at this, this seems really strong. We're going to Pip. We're going to Pacifism, the 4-2. So it's useless. And then that activates, and it's going to activate again at the end of the turn. So this can be used for Dread Touched. So Dread Touched is interesting because it makes debuffed creatures less bad. Like, if you debuff the opponent's creature, they can just sacrifice it. Instead of having it sit there pointlessly. So, the like, Pacifism isn't as good as it used to be, for example. It still might be good. But now they can use it to activate Dread Touched. Yeah, they're making sure this thing dies because I'm getting so many buffs. I'm going to have a huge chosen one. And it's the guy that gives another chosen one. Yo, uh, so I can... I can sacrifice this for Dread Touched, I guess. Or I could sacrifice this. It'll be better. I can kill one of their guys. I can trade these in. Oh, it keeps buffing this as well because he's still chosen. Kill that. Dread Touch. Sacrifice it. My first time doing a Dread Touch. That was pretty cool. The Dread Touch logo is just so imposing, you know? Wait, did it buff them or what's going on? Why do they keep getting more regen? Oh, the Blazing Talisman thing. That's why they're getting regen. So I could use Path of Light. I can actually do this, right? Selkies. Is it spells or cards? Oh, spells. Okay, well, we might get a spell. I can pip out this. We might get a spell and ramp it down. Or just go for a big 8 drop for a little bit later. We're a long way away from 8, though. Artelays is cool. Argus is fine. I mean, Argus would have been... Hmm. I want to take Alexis, but it just seems like it's the wrong play. I guess I'm going to grab Argus. My gut says we're just not making it to 8. I mean, if they don't have removal, this is going to win us the game, hopefully. They don't have a lot of cards, so come on. Here's where they start using thievery, though. It's, this is where thievery gets dangerous. We're in a good position. Yeah, they're going to look for, you know, order type stuff. Or reformation. Yeah, yeah, okay, yep. I can still do damage, but obviously that's not, not what I wanted it to be. I drew the smith's hammer. 
We can use this and get Argus to have more than one armor. This Okay, let's set this up. Let's set this up. I kind of want to kill this so they can't use it for Dread Touch and other shit. I'm just going to swap it. I don't know if I want it. Do I want to burn my guy? I mean, he's going to get armor next turn. I'll, 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 I don't know. I'll, I'll wait a turn. I don't know. I'm going to not attack. Maybe, maybe that's like really silly. There's a chance that's really silly. I'm starting to feel better though. We can win this one. We can get this run cooking. Because like going 0-3 on the first recorded run of the set is not what I'm trying to do. Okay, let's draw. And then I can play Argus and just fucking get him to two. Here, let's see. Trial Spirit. I guess that's good with Argus. So we can play Argus. Buff both their health because of Argus's effect. Hit them in the face. Armor up. I mean, might be all we need, you know? That might be all we need is some armor and some frontline. Burn plus two. Okay. Yeah, this could get really annoying now with all the censure and bullshit like that. This could get really annoying now. I mean, I could just play this right now, but I don't want to yet. I'm just going to wait a turn. Yeah, thievery becomes the biggest pain in the ass now. Classic light versus deception dynamic. Now thievery becomes a big problem. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. How nice. How nice is that? How nice. Reform everything. Censure everything. What's up, Kurt? How nice is that? Fucking hell, I can't do anything. Can't do a goddamn thing. Ready for new expansion? Playing it right now. At least the sealed stuff. Yeah, there's not much I can do here. Thanks for the follow, man. There's not much I can do. This is just... Like, misery. We're in misery mode up here. I mean, I guess I can still just keep hitting them in the face, you know? This is basically what I can do. Do I want to go now and armor up this shit, or just wait a turn and then I'll I'll put armor on Helios and something else? Let's let's wait a turn for more armor. If they didn't have this talisman, we'd be winning, man. This talisman is messing me up. Blazing talisman is so good. Such a good sealed card. Divine order is very interesting for sealed. A whole different game now. Whole different game. Like there's so many cards. It's just, I still can't believe how many cards there are, just in general, in this game. I want to believe. I want to believe I'm going to win this. Okay, well, it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. I'll be honest, it's pretty hard. Because every single thing I play gets answered. What the fuck? Yeah, carving is useless. Fuck. Fucking fuck. I put up such a good attack. I really did. It's like I attacked and I attacked and I attacked and I attacked and they had answer after answer after answer and I, I can't, I can't play around every answer. Like a, like a scripted death, you know. No matter what you do, it doesn't matter. It's a scripted death. That's what this game feels like. Fucking finally, give me a buff. Holy shit. Win next turn, maybe? Put some armor on my guy. Help him stay alive. On my Acolyte. Win next turn, maybe? Maybe make a tier list for Divine Order and Sealed. I don't know. I'm kind of bored of tier lists right now. Card game tier lists. They're fun in small doses. How many premium packs are we buying? Zero. 
Hell nah. I'm tired of losing my money on Gods Unchained. I'm going to farm sealed and free roll a bunch of packs. Once the rewards get added. That's definitely my plan. I could play this and this, and we're threatening 7 damage next turn if I play Skirmisher and Axelman. But I don't think it sticks. I'm just going to keep my options open instead. If this lives, we can kill him next turn with it. Now, I'm going to grind some sealed, see how many cards and packs I can get for free by selling stuff and all that shit. I'm not going to buy packs right away. I mean, we'll see what happens, but man, that's my plan. That's my plan. Farm some sealed. Do all that shit. Yeah, the wild slot is a huge deal. All right, we're not quite there yet. We're getting close. To the rescue seems really good. All right, second Inferno. Uh, I don't know. Go wider or just chill? I'll, I'll play this maybe to go a little wider. I don't know. I need three damage to threaten them, though. Shit. I guess I'll just play this. I think card acquisition, like getting new cards, is the most fun thing in a card game anyway. I mean, if you're winning like crazy, that's great, but... You know, that comes and goes. So I feel like card acquisition is, you know, getting new stuff is always fun. Getting more cards, more stuff is always fun. So the more I focus on that, the more I enjoy all this stuff anyway. I mean, it's a creature. I'm just going to keep it because it is a creature. I just need any creatures so I can keep pushing attacks. Like, I'm just going to keep it. I could have held it back and played both Axelman. I don't know. I just, I, I'm just waiting to see if they can not answer me, but I, I have such weak attacks left. I've used up all my good attacks. Come on. Come on. I'm so close. Need three more damage. Better answers for aggro decks. I mean, there's... I don't know. I feel like this game has tons of removal spells and stuff. What are you looking for? Like, what do you think is missing? We got a long time to wait, at least. The problem is that they can start healing with thievery. That's the problem. Other than that, like, we can be patient. Other than that. Problem is... The potential for them to try to start healing. That's the problem. I feel like there's a lot of good control stuff in this game. Aggro has been really strong lately, for sure, but I don't know. I don't know. This is torture. Waiting for one last thing that can attack. Just whiff. Just whiff. Just whammy. Double whammy, bitch. Come on. Not dead, at least. To a creature. I was like, is it is it definitely only to a creature? Can I hit face? Can it face? I can't play it without targeting a creature. Motherfucker, it's so dumb. I'm so I'm so I need three more damage. I need three more. I literally need three more damage to their face. We're so close. So close. You just see aggro all the time. There's definitely a lot of aggro. Uh, but I, I don't know. I think control is still able to cook. This is just the most obnoxious situation ever. Just like have them at three. Drawing into whatever. Okay, this is actually... Okay, hold on. This is actually good. So we can... Acolyte. Should I play both of these? Uh, play this. Don't care about that. 
Thread touch. Kill my ordered acolyte. Get more acolytes. But I don't want to play them yet because this is already a board that's threatening them. Let's make them answer this board and I'll play all of these plus GP all at once to burst yet again. We're just bursting every turn trying to make them run out of answers. This is the most obnoxious situation to be in. Yeah, there's the heal. But that's not actually the best thing for them. They need more. Okay, that's more. That's an example of more. That'll do it. But they're running out of answers, so maybe, just maybe, man. Censure doesn't really do enough for them at this point. Maybe, just maybe. Okay, we can do this. Very silly Inferno, but I think it makes sense. And then just get rid of their protection. Now they can trade into my 4-1. Uh, maybe I should have cleared the 1-1. One, one. I don't even... I'm not even threatening lethal. I'm sad. I'm, I'm extremely sad. This is... This is rough. This is like death by a thousand cuts, humiliation, and pain. This is this is tough. So close, and they're just not dead, and now they're just chilling out, slowly working their way back, using thievery nonstop. Like, this is the fucking worst, man. This is the fucking worst. They only have seven cards left. I have six left. They have this bullshit, though, so we don't win on fatigue. We do not... Yeah, we definitely don't win on fatigue. Five cards left. Echo Caster is fucking goaded. There's so much good shit. No burn, but... Orcish Elite, though? Okay, hold on to Echo Caster. If I kill this, then the Orcish Elite dies immediately. If I don't kill it, Orcish Elite lives and threatens to attack next turn. Let's just not kill the beetle. Bro, I need this win more than I need anything. This win is my white whale. Mm-hmm. Really? Wait, really? They're one off of dying. They left themselves one off of dying there, just to use Epiphany. Can I get God Blitz? Uh, nah, only Blitz. I guess just get the big one, right? I mean, Flank could be Clutch in theory, but I don't think I'm going to play around Frontline stuff. I'm doing hit him in the face take him down to one play the other acolyte please let me hit him again I can't because it's not gonna happen please they're down to one they're down to one I just need this win do it for me, do it for the content, do it for the community, do it for Flux Corp. I just need this win. Just don't have enough answers. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Is that GG? Yes! Yes! Finally, after like 20 turns of watching them thievery, censure, thievery, protect, thievery, heal. Finally, we get the win. I needed that. I really needed that. Thank God. One win. <laughs> That's sealed mode for you. Like all that just to get the first win. Oh my God. Thank God. That was so good. That was so good. That was so good. That was so good. GG. Oh my God.
I'm just like, am I really about to upload a 0-3 run? Like, am I doing this? Like, do I need to do a, another run? Try again? Like, what? No, we got a win. We're on. We're cooking. Seven win run incoming. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm so happy. I feel a win streak coming. I feel a win streak coming. Let's go. I feel it cooking. That's what I feel. Can you smell what the flux is cooking? Ugh. Hmm. Do I keep this going first or is this like too light? This archer just isn't that good in sealed. Um, I mean, I can't really justify sending shit back, though. No, I don't think we have any relic removal. I had counterfeit in the previous pool, I think. Not in this one, though. I believe that's right. I believe that's right. I'm excited to start farming cards. Once the new rewards drop, this is going to be really fun. Right now, it's cool. It's just like once the rewards are put in, it's going to be addicting, you know? It's going to be addicting. So, okay, they kind of wasted... I think they kind of wasted their Curse of Greed. Or it might mean they have tons of removal. If they're like actually galaxy brain that means they used it because they have tons of removal i agree dread has is it the same guy again is it the same I, i'm kind of like mind flooded from trying to talk and do the thing so I, I didn't even notice is it the same guy is that the same loadout yeah i think dread awakening has really 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 cool cards for sealed like i think sealed is going to be very fun and i love this combo Core, Welcome, Divine Order, and Dread. I think it's a very good combo. We haven't really seen Divine Order and Sealed very much, so it feels super fresh. And I think this is exactly what I was hoping for as far as Sealed goes, where it's like, that's exactly what they can do, is you leave out Divine Order for a while, then you put it in, and it's like, it's fucking fresh. It's like new content almost. Even though it's old cards, it still feels new, you know? And there's so many cards, and you see cards you don't even remember, and all this stuff. And then in six months, it's like, you know, they put in a different set, and it's like, oh, man, we haven't played with, you know, whatever, Winter Wanderlands and forever, you know, whatever, you know, Mortal Judgment or whatever. Like, it, the rotating is really nice. I mean, I know most of us are sick of Mortal Judgment, but there's going to be new players who come in, and they're going to be like, oh, man, this is so cool. I never got to play Mortal Judgment back in the day. It's so cool to get to experience this classic set. That's definitely going to be a thing. I'm, I'm just doing basic board board work. We're not going to get a bunch of buffs off of the Acolyte. Which is too bad. But I'm just taking the board. This card is potentially really strong. Chosen One might be a thing now. I don't know. I wonder if Chosen One's going to be a thing. Beyond the super meme category. Because Chosen One has always been like the most meme of all the major keywords and stuff, right? Like only 40 is brave enough to play it. And the Chosen One Coronet deck was a thing of beauty. Back before Giramonte kind of ruined Coronet for everybody. Orcish Elite costs 7 now. This card is still nuts. Where'd they get that actually? Mortal Judgment. Where'd that come from? Oh, they're playing an old deck. Okay. That means they're playing an old deck. So you can run into Mortal Judgment stuff that way. Yeah, that makes sense. We can just use Pacifism. We know they don't have Dread Touch because they're running an old... This pool was from before they added in Dread Touched. So that actually means we're guaranteed... We can have a guarantee they don't have any new cards, basically. Okay, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. I love all the delving in this set. Delving is just fun. 
Delving is super fun. That's probably what we needed, so we can kill this easily. I've tried running this in decks, and it's okay, but it's too slow. Like, Soldier of Tartess is too slow to be good. I'll buff the littler guy and keep the 3-3 on his own. Because he can just hit face and do some damage. The 1-2 doesn't do much by itself. Yeah, Dread is going to make Sealed really fun. This, t this morning is making me more excited for Sealed. Ranked also looks like a lot of fun stuff to build. And I'm definitely going to play some ranked, but... Ah, man. I'll probably play just enough... I don't know. Once the cards are available on Loot Rush, then I'll start... Like, hopefully in a few days, Loot Rush will start having stuff available. I'm hoping I can just build a bunch of fun stuff and not have to worry about, like, which cards I do and don't have. So hopefully Loot Rush will get, uh, get stuff going quickly. They usually do. Okay. We're crushing, bro. We're crushing. But yeah, sealed. It just seems like it's going to be such a fun sealed set. I'm just really. I don't even know exactly what it is, but there's just something about this set that just makes me excited for sealed. And so far today is like, yeah, I think it's. More delving is fun. Dread touched is a cool mechanic for sealed. Uh, maybe. I don't even know why. Why am I saying that? It's just like it's 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 a conditional effect, but you can actually do it in sealed. Maybe that's why. Like a lot of the synergies are too too situational, too conditional, like tribal synergies, but dread touched is just sacrificing any creature. I think what's nice about it too is it gives counterplay against pacifism and stuff. Oh, there you go. That's some other counterplay, but it gives more counterplay against your stuff getting debuffed, which is kind of fun. It's going to be cool for sealed. It's going to be really cool. Trade them both in. Don't like that. What do I draw? Ooh, that's cool. I could have played Helios. I took a risk by drawing instead, but I think that pays off. I can at least keep my 4-4 alive. To the rescue is dope. I don't know about ranked, but in sealed, that's going to be a really good card. That's probably the best cycle in sealed now. Gearus, let's go. Yeah, Path of Light is interesting. A lot of the light legendaries aren't that good. <laughs> but there's some good ones. Like, this is great. This is great. Okay. A slow match, but we seem to be at least a little bit ahead. A bit ahead of them. Music is, like, either not playing or it's incredibly quiet. I don't know why. Not going to worry about it, though. Uh, so, 5-5. Five, five. Do I just Inferno? I think we might when they have two cards in hand. Inferno basically out of convenience. Inferno to hopefully set up Battle Cleric. I mean, I could Orcish and just kill these two, but it doesn't really answer the Rhino. I could play Battle Sworn, but it's kind of risky. I think we just do a pretty low-value Inferno because it seems like it's just getting us into the position that we want to be in. Is it playing? Can you even hear it, though? It's, it's, it's like, insanely quiet, isn't it? I'm not that worried about it. I'm not going to troubleshoot it right now. I guess I can hear it. You can hear it. It's so quiet. All right, maybe it's just me. So another big buff Dune Cavalry. Cavalry. So we'll play Theric Seraphim just to cover up the Cleric. Or I could hold it because it gives me a draw from Gearus. Cleric probably lives either way. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just leave it. And then hopefully the cleric lives. But if not, we still get a draw from Gearus. Let's do that.
Let's do that. It's like we've been ahead, but we haven't really developed a full winning advantage, you know? We haven't converted to a win at all. We've been ahead, but we have not converted to a win. Oh, shit. Okay, so Cleric's dead. Getting a little tricky with these big creatures. I was really hoping that cleric would live. I was really hoping. I was really, really hoping. Yes! Oh my god! I was. Uh, that's what I thought in my head. I, I didn't say it. I was just like, please Inferno. That's the second copy of Inferno that we got. Oh man, sheep him. Ooh, that's a sheep right there. That's a sheep right there for sure. Alright. 11 cards. They have 15. I've drawn a lot more than them. We can't go to fatigue. Why do I keep almost going to fatigue? Or like, these... Man... These sealed games are running long. I wonder if that's just this deck or if that's going to be the set. Sealed games are long right now. Which is okay. Just interesting. Interesting to note. Um, let's do this. This. No dread touch. Get a draw. Hold on to the scald. Hold on to that. draw pretty good the dread touch animation like this looks really sick I mean it's kind of similar to the empowered thing or, or the mana surge but I like it very dreadful Perseverance, motherfucker. They have so much value just to keep me in this, like, mid-game situation. They're denying me the transition into the end game. They're not letting me have it, and I want it. That's great. I think this is the line that I want to do. So Fury Carving, sack the 1-1, one, one, play the 6-7, I get to play an Acolyte, and that, that's pretty good. What's so good about this is you can use the Acolytes to set up your other Dread Touch. This might even be good in Ranked, because you can use your Acolytes to set up your other Dread Touch. It's actually not as easy as I thought to set up Dread Touch. Like, having a creature to sacrifice... Sure, if you have a full board, you have no problem, but... It's it's interesting. It's not... Like, you have an empty board enough, or a creature you don't want to sacrifice. Like, it, Dread Touched is... Definitely not easy to activate. It really makes you think about, like, what are you going to run? What are you going to run that has, like, token generation and stuff? To create resources to then sacrifice. Oh, fuck off. Is that the second... Am I crazy or is that the second one? Did they play... Two, wait. Is that the same game? Double Asterius? Bro. 
That's their second Asterius. Echo Caster is nuts, though. Slam it. Slam it. What do I get? Ooh. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to kill this. I don't know. Go wide. If I go wide and they have a fucking removal. Swear to God. I am running out of time. I have six cards left. I guess I go wide out of desperation. I'm just going to fatigue. I'm going to hit the bottom of my deck. Second Asterius, though. I mean, that's some crazy stuff. That's that's not reasonable. That's not very fair. This sealed run is making a mockery of me. I think my deck is pretty good. I think I'm doing okay. This is exactly what I always say about sealed. The main RNG is your opponent. This is crazy. Asterius, Asterius, wildfire, wildfire. I've never seen someone pull off so many buffs in one sealed run. Oh my god. I mean, well played, I guess. I no longer have enough cards to win. It's over. Like, I have six cards left. It's over. I can't I can't do 30 damage. Perseverance. Like, they just had so much defense. I've never seen that shit, man. That's crazy. Been a long time since I've seen that much defense. What the fuck? Is there any way I can still win this? Is there any way? Nah, not really. No, it's over. Like their hand, it's one of those, it's, it's the worst kind of sealed game where their hand is empty the whole time and they always have the answer. That to me is fundamentally the worst kind of sealed run. When, when the opponent's hand is empty the whole time and they answer you every time, like it just doesn't make sense, you know? It's like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. This is one of those. Like, okay, let me try to play this really good threat into your two card hand. Oh, answered. All right. Let me play this other three creatures that like has armor and ward. Let me try that. Nope. Cleared from a one card hand. Okay. All right. Let me play this 12-12 ward. Oh, nope. You had zero cards, but you top decked the answer. Like, it's, it's one of those, man. It's like everything is answered, but there's never any cards. What the fuck, bro? I hate games like this in Sealed. I find them very annoying. Games of this nature in Sealed. Very, very annoying. Like, they never had any cards. Oh, man. Oh, man. I literally don't know. I can't win it. I don't have enough cards left. This is so fucking lame. Orb Swallower? Oh, maybe they can go to Fatigue. Can I just, like, send them right into Fatigue? It won't matter. They'll have too much value. Fuck. I can't accept it. I don't want to accept how this, how this game went. It was literally unwinnable. That was rough. One to two, hoping for a comeback. Hoping for a comeback. I don't know, though. I just don't know what to do when they don't have any cards in their hand and they always have the answer. I can't play around that. There is no strategy that you can use against that. There is no strategy for their hand is empty and they have all the answers. That's just There's just no answer. When you successfully get card advantage and tempo advantage, and then they still have all the answers and sealed, you can't do anything. There's just nothing. I'm thinking really hard. There's nothing. There's not a damn thing. It doesn't matter. When you secure card advantage and tempo advantage, and you have all of the advantages, and your opponent just has answers every time, no matter what you do, you can't do it. It's... What an annoying-ass match that was. What an annoying motherfucking match. What a stupid match. Man, that was fucking irritating. I did not like that. I found that very annoying. Like, I should have won that for sure. Okay, next. What's this? Give protected to strongest friendly creature. Sanctuary steed. Man. I'm tilted. I'm tilted. That tilted me. 
Man, that last one was so tilting. How did they have that many answers? Crazy. That's a good card. Sanctuary Steed is busted. That's crazy. Did I just make an Acolyte, play some value? I have some card advantage. Okay, hold on to Path of War. Yeah, ho hold on to the Delves for a minute. Let's play the value game. Let's keep playing the right way. Hey, JB. Bag of Cats. Archer helps with that a little bit. What actually helps is putting armor on the 2 2. That could be really helpful. Let's see what I draw. Hmm, okay. Delve. That's good, but Orcish Elite is so insane. It's a pretty good opening. Pretty good. Come on, we gotta get some more wins here. We gotta get some more wins. That's fine. Orcish Elite will be good here. Orcish Elite. Kill both the 1-1s. One and we gotta just cook up a comeback. In a sealed run like this, when you have a bad game like that, like when you get really unlucky, you have to just not let it phase you. you gotta keep playing the same way. That's the worst, like when you start playing different after one bad game. It's not good. You gotta stay locked in on the correct strategy. Like, just don't get shook. Don't get shook. Don't get shook. Don't get shook up. Fallen star. Okay. Wide-ass board. So much width. Okay, we have Inferno for later. Wind strike here is pretty sick. We can go one, two... Three. Tip out the four. Pretty much answered. Okay, what's next? I'm the one who answers shit this time. So what's next? What I want to know. What exactly were you thinking would be next? What I want to know. Just defending. I have to win against Mage Bolt. Like, against Thievery, okay. Against Nature, maybe. Against Mage Bolt. Summon a 4 4 Dread Hive. Interesting. I can get to the rescue, Seeing Stone, Path of War, or Fury Carving if I play this. Otherwise, it's, like, awkward for my mana. Let's play Echo Caster. Otherwise, we have to float mana or do something weird. 4-5 Ward is fine on this board. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's Frontline. The 4-4 four four has Frontline. Oh, okay. Got it. We're getting a ton of value from Fury Carving, playing it a second time now. This will attack the 2-3. And then I can play Smith's Hammer, set that up. Yeah, I can't Acolyte. Path of Light's kind of awkward here. Let's do Boom. Actually, mm, I could use Orcish Elite. Oh, uh, I don't know. Probably not. Use Smith's Hammer. Mm. 
Yes, this kind of makes more sense. Their hand is so low. Just don't let the last game, like, throw me off. Oh, they're going to kill this with their GP. Oh, I don't, uh, I don't know. That wasn't good. That wasn't quite it, actually. I should have done the Fury carving. Damn it. Am I still playing much parallel? Don't know if I should get starter decks or dread packs. I'm keeping up a parallel. I gotta rotate my games because I'm playing so many so many different games now. Uh starter decks or dread packs. Really depends what you're looking for. Depends what you're uh, what you're hoping to get out of it for sure. Okay. Yeah, it's tough to say uh without more context. So I don't know, like what are you uh what are you thinking about? What kinds of stuff is guiding your decision, I guess? Hmm, I could Inferno, but not yet. Just play Smith's Hammer and start setting up. Smith's Hammer, cram. They play something else. Next turn, Inferno, and then turn after that, I come back. That's the line. Just set it up. Two turns from now, we're way ahead. The run is not going to die here. The run is not dying. The run is alive. The run is alive. It's not dying. Fuck you. No, it's not. This run is alive as hell. Seven wins incoming. I got this. Yeah, I mean, also, starter decks are pretty cheap, right? So if you're just buying a starter deck in parallel, it's like 30 bucks, 35 bucks. It's really not that bad by card game standards. I don't know if you have to pick one or the other. A good game. Have you played Parallel? Like, have you tried it? To see if you like it? This is not quite what I was envisioning, but... Okay, I guess I Inferno and then I run into the Hippo. My weapon here? <laughs> With no armor? Okay. I mean, if you've never played Parallel, I'd say buy a starter deck, give it a try. See if you like it or not. People have such different opinions on it, you know? Alright, I lose. I lose. I don't know. I don't know why the game hates me today. This is so fucked. Like, what? what? Literally the exact same thing again. They had two or three cards in their hand the whole game, and yet every turn is S-tier. It's just fucking annoying, man. Like, I, I really deserved better this run. I really deserved better. Like, I played pretty well. And the game fucked me every step of the way for reasons that are very unclear. Just badass, bad fucking luck. Like, the game has fucked me in the ass every single turn. I've had more cards and more tempo always, and it doesn't matter. I can't do anything else except have more cards and better tempo. There's nothing else I can do. Fucking hell. Such an annoying, annoying run. Like, I really feel like I played well with a good deck, and it just didn't matter. It's so annoying, man. Uh, bought the red deck, played a few games, pretty good, but liked it as much as this. Can only really devote the time to this one to know. I'm just confused what you're worried about. Like, I don't understand, like, which one do you want to play? I'm not trying to be a dick, but it kind of sounds like you should play the one that you want to play. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if that sounds, like, really dickish. That's kind of, like, what my brain is telling me. is like, why don't you play the one you want to play? Like, is it, like, some kind of angst about play to earn? Or I, I don't... I feel like there's something, like, that's missing in this combo. Alright. I, I don't know. I did everything I could. I cooked. I cooked, like, so fucking hard. I cooked so fucking hard. I worked harder than my opponents. I was smarter than them. Sexier. Cooler. Better in every way. Superior. Superior intellect. Doesn't matter when RNG hates me. I'm, I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. I'm half joking. Oh, what an annoying goddamn run. What an annoying goddamn run. Yay. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. All right. That was my YouTube video. Great fucking run. Yep. Great fucking run. I, 